Hello and welcome back. Thanks as always for joining me today. Let's talk about abstraction. Yeah, let's do that. This is a fundamental principle of spirituality in general. And it's one that we sometimes find really, really easy to accept. And other times we find it impossible to accept as we go up, down, up, down, emotionally, psychologically on the path, up, down, up, down, over this wild chain of events that we refer to as life. Let's talk about abstraction today. And let's talk about it within the framework of this course and with the idea of love. Love. Now, we tend to view it in the world as our popular culture views it. And I'm referring to lyrics from rock and country songs, they're almost all about love. They're almost all about getting or being in or especially sometimes losing a special love relationship, aren't they? And, and we listen to them and, and we love the singers. Uh, we, we love the, the music. Maybe it's the melody uh, or maybe the lyrics themselves really touch us and, and resonate with us on a really deep level. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, we, we see this all of the time. And yeah, it's not just music, it's, it's movies. It is all over the place in our, our lives. There are people that have businesses that are specifically tailored to bettering or improving or getting into or out of a special love relationship. You can see these all over the internet and, and yeah, it's, it's just where we happen to find ourselves. So we tend to think of love the way we think of everything else, actually. We say we want it, but we don't accept it as it actually is. We don't. We tend to refer to it within our own ego framework. And what I mean by that is our own limited perspective, our perception of life, of who we are, of who other people are, of what the world is. Our perception is completely upside down. It's backwards. It's not the way things really are. What really truly is, is abstract. Love, God, is completely abstract. It doesn't have a boundary. So, of course, it's not limited to a relationship between just two people or a relationship among people in a group like a nation state or a political party or a family unit, even a business, all of those. It's not limited. It's completely and totally abstract and it reaches out to itself. This is why it's said here as we study and practice A Course in Miracles that you always meet yourself. That's why when we forgive, when you appear to forgive someone or a group of people, you're really forgiving yourself. And at the same time, when you condemn and blame someone or a group of people, you are, in truth, condemning and blaming yourself. Reality, God, love, knows no boundaries. 
It's totally and completely unlimited. Love applies to everyone, not just a select few. So this is something that sounds like a lot of these ideas in the course. It sounds kind of obvious, <laughs> doesn't it? I mean, it does. It, it sounds really, really obvious. And here in this setting of a video series, specifically dedicated to A Course in Miracles and your study and practice of the course, it can make a whole lot of sense right here within the limited time frame and context of a single video. Yet when we go out there to put it into practice, which is where we really learn this course in the doing of it, it can be, be very elusive. It's because we introduce complications and specificity into life, we're conditioned to do it. I mean, really, it's nobody's fault that we appear to find ourselves here. We simply are waking up from a dream, and this is a dream. I mean, our parents raised us the way they were raised. Our societies have certain values. They have certain ways of doing things. Yeah. And here as adult learners, as what we call people on the spiritual path, whether you want to call yourself a, a seeker or a, a student or, or a fellow traveler or, or whatever you, you want to call yourself, here as adult learners, we have the opportunity to unlearn things. We see everything as highly specific, individualized, and therefore we break that unit down into various component parts. We break our physical bodies down into multiple component parts, all the way down to individual cells, and then all the way down to protons, neutrons, and electrons within an atom, we break things down and parse them out into many, many, many supposedly separate component parts. We do this with our entire experience. And it is no wonder that we're confused. We introduce all complexity into our own experience. We complicate things ourselves. Now, the beautiful part of this, I mean, you may think, okay, what's possibly beautiful about that? That's stark and it's ugly. The, the encouraging part about this is having done it, we can undo it. That's the encouraging part. Having made this disaster, we can unmake it. We can set it aside. And you have all of the tools that you need at your disposal. They're yours, but for the asking. So here, as we study and practice A Course in Miracles, we forgive all of our thoughts of specificity and separation and judgment and blame. I mean, again, we appear to be forgiving someone out there. Well, there's no one out there. There is nothing outside you. So we're really forgiving ourselves. As we do, people notice. You, you may have had this experience many times where as you practice this course, as you really, really do it, people begin to pay attention because you don't see things the same way. And what happens is in one way or another, you show up differently. You do. You show up completely differently in the world. 
And what happens is people notice what's going on is as you extend love, as you forgive, as you share the Holy Spirit with your brother, your brother recognizes himself, herself, themselves. We recognize ourselves. You always meet yourself. Your brother is you. You are your brother. There is only perfect oneness, God, love. It's completely abstract, and love is for everybody. It doesn't know any boundaries at all. It's completely limitless. And yes, as we're conditioned to see things within our tightly controlled little boxes and our tightly controlled little cultures and subcultures, this idea that seems so obvious sometimes can also seem deeply threatening. We've become so accustomed to seeing ourselves as individual self-sustaining survival units, individual human beings, with all the labels that we heap upon ourselves on top of that, that we're sometimes prone to think that set this sense of separation aside would be the end, oblivion, death. It's life. Reality is completely unlimited and abstract. We heap all the limitations on ourselves and having done that, we can undo it. You can undo the ego. Is it going to take a long time? Maybe. I mean, that time is just an illusion along with the world and space and bodies and all of that. But that is here in the dream what time is for, is for you to awaken. And what we do is we allow ourselves to be led as far as we're willing to be led on a given day. And then we get up tomorrow and then we go as far as we're willing to go to allow ourselves to be led by the Holy Spirit, our inner teacher, on that day. And, and we do it again and again and again. Reality is completely abstract. God is not limited. Love is not limited. It's for everyone because it's the only reality. And deep down, each and every one of us has always known we do. We recognize this and we're drawn to it to ourself, capital S. Hmm? That's why we're on the spiritual path in the first place. So I thank you, as always, for joining me here. If you have questions, please feel welcome to leave them. I'm here to serve as a guide for you. And as we go through the text of A Course in Miracles, it occurs to me very frequently to have conversations that aren't specifically based on a section of the text like this one. So if you have questions or particular ideas that you would like to see me cover here on this video series, I'm more than happy to do that. So just let me know. And if you want to just comment and say hello, I'd love to hear from you too. It's an international community, and I think it's wonderful. It's, it's amazing that you all are here in the midst of all of the other clutter and noise and content out there. Here you are, which says everything. It really does. If you have not yet subscribed and joined us, please do that. I'd love to have you join us. That's the prompt, this arrow here in the corner of your screen. Click that, and a little prompt comes up saying subscribe. <laughs> All right. And when you do, you'll get several videos each week. It's a growing international community, so I do want to invite you to do that if you have not yet. And thank you so much again for joining me. I'll see you again here on the next video.